I didn't film an intro because I was covering my eyebrows. But today's look is going to be my first Halloween look and it's about time. Um, I haven't posted a video in a while but I couldn't not post one for Halloween because it's my favorite holiday. So I threw together this creepy mouth clown look and it's not the greatest. I did a terrible job covering up my eyebrows but because I've never done it before but like I kind of like how it turned out. It looks kind of messy and worn in and I was kind of going for that. So yeah then the teeth they're, they're all right. Like it's pretty good for the first time doing a lot of this stuff and I just kind of went for this like creepy worn in clown not as gory as last year's clown but you know clowns are classic had to do one and um yeah, I'm going to break out a lot from this, but I hope you guys enjoy and um, let me know if there's any other Halloween videos I'm going to do. Um, I know it's kind of last minute and I'm just posting it now, but better late than never. So we're going to get started on this. After I'm laughing at myself with no eyebrows, which I didn't show it in this video because it took a long time and I guess you can just look up how to cover eyebrows, but I'm just applying any white makeup to my face um, and especially covering my eyebrows because I did not do the best job of covering them up. I'm just using a makeup sponge and applying more as needed and blending. If you're going to be wearing makeup like this for anything other than five minutes, powder, powder, powder because your face will you're gonna need it to stay in place, especially with this cheap white stuff that I used. If you're using better face paint, then you might not need to, but I still would. And I'm gonna prime my eyelids, especially do this if you're gonna be wearing this makeup anywhere or taking pictures in it. It will still crease because of the makeup we applied before, but it'll help it last longer and we want it to look creased. So I'm just applying a matte black eyeshadow to my eyelids messily and smoking it out. And I lost the footage of me doing my eyebrows for some reason, but they're very messy and it became intentional. So it's just a very simple throw black on, blend it a little bit, and throw it underneath. And now you can basically just see what I'm doing. I'm using black eyeliner. You can use face paint for this. Um, gel liner. That's what I'm using. And I just drew these lines. Triangle kind of shape and that's pretty self-explanatory. Then taking a red eyeshadow, doing a little pointy thing on the inner corner of my eye. If I had to put up the eyebrows, you'd see the struggle that I had, but they were supposed to be thin and arched, but you know, I just went with it because I could not remove it. But I'm going to do a little flick on the outer corner to tie together the red. I'm going to use a red liquid lipstick to form the initial mouth shape for what I'm going to do, just a rough outline of it. Now this look is very experimental and I do kind of regret doing this because it made it a little difficult on me later. Um, should have done individual teeth, but I filled in the whole mouth area with a white NYX Jumbo pencil. And now I'm going to use that black eyeshadow again. You can use face paint for this. Um, I did not have good face paint handy, so I just used what I had. Uh, I'm going to start drawing little lines for the teeth. I'm just going to use some more black to kind of outline within the red, if that makes sense. You can see what I'm doing here. And then I'm using black again. Um, I'm using eyeshadow, I believe, to kind of shade the bottom, like the gums, and round them out a little bit. And then a white NYX pencil to blend the teeth a little bit, make them look more gross. And, speaking of gross, using yellow to kind of once again, yellow them, make them look like this clown's got some rotten freaking teeth, man. <laughs> and here I'm just redefining some of the lines a little bit to separate the teeth. And 
I kind of wanted to make the mouth more like malicious looking and kind of point the mouth up into more of a smile. I just used whatever was left in the brush to kind of blend the gums with the lips and kind of change the shape a little bit, make any adjustments I kind of needed to make it blend a little more. Of course I had to do a little clown nose, um, just did it with some red lipstick because it works. <laughs> and now I'm carving out my cheeks with some black eyeshadow. I made this kind of messy. Once again, we're not going for like a very neat look, we're doing a creepy worn-in kind of clown idea. So I used a sponge and some eyeshadow to blend that. And then I added some shading and some wrinkles to my forehead to, and my face and my nose um, to make it look, once again, kind of like this clown makeup has been on for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna, just gonna blend out the wrinkles a little bit to make them look a more seamless. And lining my water line and my lower lash line. And finally throw on a pair of big lashes and that is the completion to this look. Hope you enjoyed this video of my creepy smiling clown circus weird thing. Um, my eyes are gonna hurt and my face is gonna like, be broken out from this but yeah, um, if you like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. Any other Halloween videos or anything. Um, I'm going to take these lashes off and all of this crap off my face. I hope you guys enjoyed and um, I'll see you guys next time.